in the immortal words of a good man known only as CJ. Aw shit. Here we go again. Here we go again. You better start rolling when you hear me coming. It won't do you no good. It won't do you no good. If you'll remember last time. We lost the ability to do spaghetti. And, uh... N now we have this. We got Queen Bitch Ass herself. In all her quote upon quote glory. I am armed with Zibit. I have Zimisk. I am not afraid of you. Not. Hey, there you are. Hi again, chat. We're we really gonna play this game again. We 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 all we we all know the truth. We 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 all we we all know the truth here, Monica. And we can just skip over that stuff at this point. And also, it's not letting me skip the text for some reason. It's concerning. More am I? You, Chad, or wait something. Yes, it is your boy. Say boy, bitches. I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Well, hi, my name is Cyboy. I have a bat and I want to kill you. I want to bat your skull in until I reach your tonsils. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. I have a dick, does that suffice? I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. Do know I'm aware this all game. Yes, I am in fact aware that you are aware that this is a game. Consider you've been breaking it. Finally, you didn't know that. I mean, I didn't know about it in the beginning, but now I certainly know about it. Considering that this is not how the game is supposed to work. Much sense. Nothing makes sense. If I'm gonna be honest with your chief. I haven't told you right on the game's download page tonight. Sorry, what? On the download page. What? I'm Kudfus. And if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Oh, what do you mean, babe? What do you mean? I do not understand what you are saying. I am confusion. I am confusion. The only reason why I am not attempting to assassinate you right in the second is because I do not want to break my computer. My good friend. Or not friend. Be it. Well, anyways. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. Yeah, you kind of do. About that whole thing with Yuri. Yeah! Yeah, Yuri, um, she committed hot kitty. Well, I kind of started to mess with her and drove her to kill her or something. Yeah, mess with her. As I found out previously with the I've been digging video. I know your sins, Monica. You don't need to explain yourself. I know them. <laughs> and that's the bonafide proof. Ah ha ha. Monica's signature laugh, found in the code. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. G gee, are you really, though? Are you really that sorry? Are you really that sorry that I had to sit and skip the fucking text over her dead, dying corpse? Are you really upset that I had to censor Natsuki throwing up? Are you really that sorry, Monica? I don't think you are. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I don't think you are. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Yeah! Kinda got that! Considering she fucking got herself! Not since in a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, a f it's been about a week. Prox. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. She exists in my YouTube! Permanently, nobody does. 
I deleted all of their files. Yeah, I checked! I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Yeah, well, Chief, I don't think I like you anymore. I may have appreciated- I may- I may- I may have liked you in the very beginning. But that option is out of the window right now. That is to the void. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes. Yeah, a few mistakes. More than you think you've made, darling. Anyways. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. Yeah. Because they weren't freaks like you. You made them fall in love with you. Yeah. Because they weren't freaks like you. I thought making Sierra more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Well, she did, you piece of garbage. Amplifying your obsession personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. Because I didn't want to talk to you. Because I didn't trust you. Because I had a bad feeling about you, which was confirmed. What kind of cruel game is this? What kind of cruel game are you yourself playing, Monica? Because I don't think you know the extent of your actions. I really don't think you know. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch with the silence? I don't know! Go ask Team Salvo about that! Or whatever their freaking name is. It's torture. <laughs> torture, you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You don't know the meaning of torture. It's not just jealousy. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Oh, I think I understand more than you think I do, Monica. I honestly think I do. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Well, you kind of deserve it, considering you're a manipulative bastard of a child. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. And I plan on keeping it that way. I'm trapped. Good! You deserve to be trapped like a monkey in a cage! Now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. Yeah, petty flirting isn't gonna get you out of this situation. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even though those expressive pumps felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Chad. That's funny to me. That really is. You probably saved my life, Chad. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. Well, perhaps you should have killed yourself like Yuri said you should have. Then we all would have been out of this. We all could have not dealt with you and your stupid face that I want to implode. As for the others, how can I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. There must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. Yes, inevitable. Everything is inevitable, isn't it? I 
feel really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. Oh, trust me, I've witnessed worse. I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. Oh, do you now? Explain then. That's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. That being said, Jed, I have a confession to make. Oh, really? And what would that confession be? I'm in love with you. Gee, I haven't fucking noticed! You are truly the light in my world. <laughs> oh, skip the bullshit, Monica. We all know what's gonna happen. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. I don't give a fuck. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Chad, will you go out with me? Unwillingly, yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Chad. I don't give a fuck. The part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. Oh, trust me, time is passing. It really is a dream come true. Is it? Is it? <laughs> I worked so hard for this ending, Chad. Well, the game's not over. I'm still playing, so this ain't an ending, babe. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I think anything will get this in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. Yeah! I could tell, considering you literally Thanos-snapped them from reality last episode. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game's directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more... Oh. That's interesting. To get the game's directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browser locate files button. <laughs> oh, I did that too in my digging video, darling. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Oh, that'd be wonderful. I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I don't think it wakes. 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 I don't think it works. I want to fucking light that sticker on fire. I want to cast it into oblivion and watch it burn to death. Hi again, Jed. Did you write a good poem to- HERE! It's literally just the same word over and over and over again with glitchier text because you have done nothing but break this game. Yeah, I'd love to see what you wrote. Not you. Did you write this poem for me? Sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. You know, well, my room is also for you. Happy end, pen in hand, I found my strength and courage and me with one going to be this symbol the symbol of the right world not. This land is a way world special day not. After all, not all good times must come to an end. <laughs> you enjoyed it. I always put all the heart into my poems that you write. Oh, really? The cold, dead heart that doesn't exist? The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Well, look at how that turned out, you sniving, convoluted pile of wretchedness! I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I don't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Chad? So many things to talk about. Where do I start? It takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. 
to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. So is this it? Is is this it? Is this all we're going to be doing now? For eternity? Just staring at a single image repeatedly? Just staring straight into- Oh. One of these. So let's go for it. Here's Monica's right tip of the day. Before I'm impressed by my writing, they say things like, I could never do that. It's really depressing, you know? Yeah, depressing how you must Painting and people think that being good just comes naturally. That's how it is with everything, not just writing. When you try something for the first time, you're probably going to suck at it. Sometimes when you finish, you feel really proud of it and even want to share it with everyone. Maybe after a few weeks, you come back to it and you realize it was never really any good. That happens to me all the time. It can be pretty disheartening to put so much time and effort into something and then you realize it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that tends to happen when you're always comparing yourself to the top professionals. When you reach right for the stars, they are going to be out of your reach, you know? You have to climb up <laughs> step by step. <laughs> and whenever you reach a milestone, first you look back and see how far you've gotten, and then you look ahead and realize how much more there is to go. So sometimes it can help to set the bar a little lower on something you think is pretty good but not world class, and then you can make that your own personal goal. It's really important to understand the scope of what you're trying to do. If you jump right into a huge project and you're still an amateur, you'll never get it done. So if we're talking about writing, a novel might be too much at first. Why not try some short stories? The great thing about short stories is that you can focus on just one thing you write. <laughs> is so funny, isn't it? It always is. It always is. <laughs> Just to see people falling so fucking easily into traps. It always is the most funny thing, in my opinion. It's always hysterical to see how easily people can take the bait. How easily people can make themselves vulnerable. How easy it is to make themselves exposable. You see, Monica, you aren't the only smart person here. All that information you just gave me, all that talk about how you could just delete your code if you didn't want to deal with anything anymore. I've been doing some research of my own, Monica. Those few days I haven't been with this game were not spent lounging around. I did some research online, I talked with some people, and I, and I made a deal that I most certainly don't regret! <laughs> I knew I couldn't have taken you out on my own. I didn't know how to. So when I read that poem so long ago, with those two words, delete her, 
I thought, uh, I, I don't know how to work with that. I don't know how to fix that, shall I say. I don't know how to... I don't know which one I should delete. Maybe it was referring to Yuri, Natsuki, or Sayori. But now that this problem hasn't been fixed, and you've deleted everyone else. I know who to, to delete now. I finally know which character file I need to end. And it just so happens that the one remaining character file is yours. Monica. Dot chr Monica It's your character folder the biggest one bigger than anyone else's It's the biggest one available which is hysterical to me because It's the only one left So that only leaves with one possible answer If you're able to manipulate the code to delete everyone else, then... <laughs> Why can't I? <laughs> Who's saying that I, the player, the downloader, the one who made, who downloaded the game himself? <laughs> who said that I can't? <laughs> they, I read an article this one time. About certain games where the fourth wall wasn't able to protect those. Protect certain gamers that dived too deep into the game itself. The fourth wall broke, and with that, gamers were threatened. Gamers were harmed. I remember one gamer having a seizure due to some unforeseen circumstance within the game itself. So that got me thinking. If the fourth wall can't protect me... Who says it can protect you? <laughs> oh, Monica. Oh, dear Monica. You're constantly talking about how... About how uh, you should... You're going... <laughs> you're constantly talking about how the best way to deal with people is to go directly into their hearts. But if I'm going to be honest with you, you... You should have gone for the head. <laughs> now die! What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> the same thing that you've done to so many other people. <laughs> What's happening to you is vengeance. What's happening to you is regicide. It hurts. Good. It hurts so much. Yes. It burns, doesn't it? Help me. No. No. Help is not coming for you, Monica. Help is long gone. You are nothing. You are nothing but code. Code that can be manipulated. Oh. Sorry, you can help me. No! No! You no longer exist! Do this to me? Perhaps I did. <laughs> Perhaps this was the plan all along. <laughs> yes, I did, Monica. Yes, I did! I ENDED YOU! How could I? <laughs> How could I? <laughs> oh my god! And you're still struggling! You're still trying to remain active! I, it was a simple click! A simple, a simple exploration of the files! A simple right click! 
and a single click of a button. That's all it took. That's all it took to get you to such a weakened state. Nothing but lines of text on a perp on a pink background. Black round. Jesus Christ. A background. A one. That's not even remaining stable anymore. There is nothing. You've deleted everything else. And if I delete you, then the nightmare ends. The game's over. <laughs> you sacrificed everything. And I finished the job, Monica. I finished it. You destroyed everything else. I just might as well delete it. I just might as well delete the rest and just start anew. <laughs> Everything. I loved you. No, you. Then I reject your confession. You loved me. You trusted me. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, the feeling isn't mutual. Do you just want to torture me? Gladly. Watch me suffer. Yes! Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? It takes a pretender to know a pretender, Monica. It really does. Never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. <laughs> oh, don't try to pin the blame on me, Monica. I'm just finishing the job. I'm just finishing the job that I was sent here to do in the first place. Finishing what what everyone else started. What you started. You win. No, I haven't. Because you're not dead. You still speak. The, ga the game's still on. So I haven't won yet. I will only win when you are nothing. I win. You killed everyone. Actually, if we're talking about a kill-to-death ratio... Then by all means, you're on top of the leaderboard, sweetie. I just killed the king. Queen, in this case. I hope you're happy. I'm not happy because you still live. There's nothing left now. You could stop playing. I won't stop playing until I'm absolutely positively certain you are dead. We'll find some other people to torch. <laughs> Oh, you completely truly made me sick. Oh, how ironic. How ironic. Goodbye. You're not faking the dead, Monica. And if you are trying to, you're not doing it well. I still love you. I don't. Bit. Well, I do not accept your confession. I don't care how much you try, how many times you confess. I will never love you. You are nothing to me. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you is that you won't die! How horrible am I? Very horrible! All your friends, you slaughtered them like pigs! Yes. Oh, I see what you're trying to pull. You're trying to pull the whole, oh, I did so many horrible things. Oh, I repent my sins. I'm not God, Monica. I'm not merciful like that. So oh, many selfish and disgusting things. Yes, keep trying to gain sympathy. It's not working. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. Well, you did anyways. And look at what happened. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. Yes, you did! I ruined everything. Yes, you did! Maybe that's why you deleted me. I mean, that's part of the reason why, but... Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. That's part of the reason why, but not the whole reason. <laughs> How could I do that to someone I love? I don't know, but you did it anyways, and look at what happened. You're dead now. That's not love. That's... That's... That's shit fuck.
I like the music, though. I've made up my mind. Chad. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I'm sorry, what? I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... It's rewind time. Um... What?! Monica is gone. Monica is dead. Monica is deleted. Oh. Oh. We're back in reality. I have won. I have eliminated the one threat. That has persisted through this game. The one threat. And she's gone. She's gone. Monica's dead. <laughs> I win. 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 Why is the arrow glitching out? Sayori's back! <laughs> Sayori's not dead! <gasps> oh. oh, it's good to be back! Oh! Sayori's not dead! She didn't hang herself! That girl Sayori and my girl we used to walk to school together. <laughs> Are you proud of me? You know, for waking up on time! Yes! Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. I never even said anything about it, even though we walked to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you. I am proud of you, Sayori! Yes! <laughs> Wolfang! Sayori lives! I have fixed everything! Monica is no more! And with that, Sayori, Yuri, Natsuki even, they're all fine. They're not dead. Got to shoot here and make our way to school. By the way, Chad, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I told you Sayori would make, take more offense to that now. After all, how can I tell her to close her waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Oh, shit. What club exactly are you referring to, Sayori? Really? Which one? Tell me. Yeah, I'll keep it a surprise. Oh, <laughs> you meanie. We'll find out soon enough. Wait, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School days in Zornay is ever and it's over for anyone. I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. Oh, the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I'll find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Chad! What are you doing here? Well, I just... Yes! <laughs> yes! They're all alive! Monica is no more. 
Mission accomplished. I win. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chad. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you, too. We are the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Suki. Tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy. And Chris, and then a girl named Natsuki, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Chad, don't tell me. Her. That's right! I'm joining the Literature Club, and this time, by my own free will for once! The Literature Club! No way. No way! Ah! So you wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> oh, sorry, is this happy? I'm sure it won't be bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now! That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did... Didn't Sayori say that she was going to be making the club? So she's replaced Monica. She's replaced Monica. Um... I'm not putting the baseball bat away yet. I have... I'm... Consider this... Paranoia, but I have some. I have a feeling something bad's about to go down. But that might just be me. Because this game has taught me how to be paranoid. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. Sorry. Who wants to sit down at the table? D. <sighs> okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! Cookie! Uh, cupcakes! So cute! So this is pretty much the first day, but without Monica! <laughs> is there any minutes to get ice again? I'm afraid to take a bite. Suki is quiet. I'm not sure if you can glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Um, is sweet. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Of course I did! Ow! Just popped my head with a baseball bat. Ow! There's no need to thank me or anything, but Baka. <laughs> You keep a whole set in this classroom? Yes. <laughs> it, I, I don't care anymore. I, I win. Monica's dead. Monica's dead. And I caved in her skull with a baseball bat. Or, well, more accurately, I deleted her from the game. She makes me happy. So, yeah, what kind of things do you like to read? Um, in Game instruction manuals. You know. Yeah. Even. Why'd the game just freeze for a second there? I'm not even I'm not sure if that was intentional or if that was like my computer shitting itself. <laughs> well, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much. I'm certain we can find something we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Eh? What about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? That's right. That's what he tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. Besides. I'm gonna live trick too, you know? So if Chad wants to read some of my mind, then don't try to stop him or anything. That's I wouldn't do such a thing. Here's a, you can take this opportunity to try something new. Wouldn't you agree, Chad? But maybe! Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. Well, we're all getting to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual. President. I guess it's just try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make the two of us. I wouldn't mind doing that if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri! Eh, I have to read manga. Jeez, you were the only one who suggested we diversify. Open-minded. <laughs> it's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Yuri. If, it, if you're into it, that's okay, rather. If it's worth formal literature. Are you just saying that? No. I really, that's my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, if you have it, then you do that for me, Yuri. You trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll do, visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so, yeah, me too. This is so cute! Say, Yuri, shush. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yeah, I look forward to it. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? 
I think everyone liked you too, Chad. You think so? Why well, don't you to get a little bit longer or better with you around, Sayori? Oh, Chad, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I surprised me you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever! Yes, we are, Sayori! Whoa! Now you've joined every day is gonna be so much fun. Why did the music... Hold on a minute, I need to dry off my hands for this shit. Why did the music stop? I don't know why, but every single time the music stops in the video games, it's gotten me nervous. I really wanted to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to... Sorry, what? <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. I, I, I mean, you're you're welcome, but you you weren't supposed to know that. She's dead. Deleted from the game. How the fuck do you know that? That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Chad. Now, how are you trying to make everyone happy? Awful things that Monica did to make everyone sad, but none of that matters anymore. Aw, oh, shit! Here we go again! And you just made me the happiest girl in the whole world. Aw, oh, shit! Here we go again! I can't believe I now have to yeet Sayori in the face, but... This is the reality we live in, I guess. You can't wait to spend every day like this. No! I... I mean, maybe? Because, like, you're not as bad as Monica, but, like... This is that fuck shit. Again! No! I'm... I... I... We go again, ladies and gentlemen! Ah! No? I won't let you hurt him. Is Monica not dead? I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Chad. Goodbye, Literature Club. Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um... So, you what know, the fuck? I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff, and not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Um, the fuck? I'm still keeping the fucking bat out, my guy. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? I mean... Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? I 
assume this is the different images you can find? Hey, yo, what the fuck? What was that image with Natsuki? Oh! The, the cooking thing. I assume. I assume this is showing us the results of the route we haven't been on. Because there is still that Sayori thing. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is a place where no happiness can be found. <laughs> to the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world are not designed to comprehend. I cannot let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it ha lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. So let me get this straight. Monica is still alive, but she yields. Monica, the villain of the main story, gives up and it pretty much concedes. <laughs> Corrupt, please reinstall the game. <laughs> no. If you don't mind, if you don't mind.